Hey guys, my name is Jonathan Henderson with Pressure Washing Marketing Pros. In today's video, I want to go ahead and show you guys how we took our client Garrett's Pressure Washing from page four to page one in only one month. And also, they're ranking top five for their most prominent keywords like Pressure Washing Louisville and Roof Cleaning Louisville as well, which I will show you in a minute, right? And we did this in a matter of a, mo in a, matter of a month. And how we were able to do that is, is we restructured their entire website and we gave them a new website, right? So they got a completely brand new website and that brand new website shot them up the rankings. And let me show you guys how. So if you look at this keyword right here, pressure washing Louisville KY, you'll go ahead and see that on 6 May of 2024, they're position number 35. And then it shot up, right? And it says position number 12, but this was last updated eight days ago on 29 May. But if I go with the real time rankings right now for pressure washing Louisville KY, you'll go ahead and see that they're number three. And yes, guys, I use this Google location changer because it, you know, this doesn't give us the, this doesn't give us like the cash results. It doesn't give us the preferable results. It just gives us straight up what that ranking is, right? And even for roof cleaning Kentucky or Louisville, Kentucky, as you can see, they rank number five for this as well. And when you look at this keyword, right, for roof cleaning Kentucky, you'll see that they were never ranking for this. Like their homepage ranked for it for a little bit, right? But they never got any rankings over the last two years for this keyword at all. When we built this page for them, they shot straight up. You know what I mean? They shot straight up once we rebuilt their website, right? And so I'm very happy with how the SEO is going for this client. And I want to show you guys, you know, some key things on what you can do in order to go ahead and make sure that your website is, you know, properly structured. So let's get straight into the video. So first thing I would go ahead and say, guys, is that a lot of people will say, well, Jonathan, you know, the brand or the way that my website looks doesn't matter. And I will call false on that, guys. You know why? Because I don't know if you guys heard about the leaked, the leaked Google documents. So if you go leaked Google documents, right? There was Google's documentation leak, right? So Google leaked all of their algorithm stuff, like, right? All of their algorithm and ranking factors got leaked. And one of the biggest ones that we already kind of knew was user engagement, guys, right? So, you know, Google's NavBoost algorithm, which utilizes clickstream data to evaluate user engagement. So how a user engages with their website is pivotal, right? And important when it comes to how well you rank. And so what a lot of guys think when, when guys rank in like the top you know, on the first page is they think that, okay, to get me from position number three to position number one is simply gonna be more backlinks, better content, and all of that. When that's not necessarily the, the case, guys, is going to be what are the user engagement signals, especially if you're in the top three. Now, I've always had a rule of thumb, guys. If you're at the bottom of the first page, it's either because of one or two things. You're on, your content needs to be better or you need to get more backlinks, right? If you're in the middle right here, like, you know, position number five, six, it could be an authority thing. But, you know, to get you from position three to number one or position two to one, or if you're position number one and you go to two, that's simply going to be heavily predicated off of user signals, heavily predicated off of user signals, right? And so that's why I always tell people that when your website is branded and your website looks really good, like as you can see right now, this website looks awesome, right guys? I, I know, it's super branded, all of that, right? Google can read these user signals. So when people are calling a business, right? So if people are hitting this book now button or people are calling this business, Google knows that. You know what I mean? If people are spending more time on the website, Google knows that. And when you have a professional looking website, when you have a decked out website like this, what ends up happening is that people are going to convert over another website. And so that's why I say how your website looks actually does matter, guys. Gone are the days, which sometimes you might see people that don't have as good of websites. So for example, if I go, if I use pressure washing in Louisville as an example, right? If I do, I'll use this as an example. If I use these guys on rank number one, Green, Green Goose Cleaning, right? Because there's a bunch of fact ranking factors. Their website doesn't look bad, guys, but it's not the best. You know what I mean? It doesn't look bad, but it's not the best. But the thing is, these guys have been in business for 15 years, 
right? And so Google knows that. They know how long a domain, you know, domain age. So if I go leaked Google documents and I even go right here and I put domain age, you know what I mean? Older domains might have an advantage in search rankings, right? So in the Google API docs leak, that was already came out that older domains have an advantage, you know, indicates that domain age, you know, the documentation indicates that domain age is indeed a factor highlighting the value of maintaining established web properties for long-term strategic planning. So if you've been in business for 15 years, Google knows that and it's going to rank you accordingly in that sense. So you have to do everything in your power to not have these things weigh against you in that sense. Not saying that if you have a brand new domain, right, that you can't go ahead and rank, you surely can, but these are all the different functions of factors, which is why I say people keep forgetting engagement, engagement, engagement. Now, the second thing that I want to go ahead and talk about besides, you know, besides your branding and all of that is going to be the structure of your website. On your website, guys, make sure that you have the appropriate heading tags, the title tags, the meta descriptions, right? So make sure that you have your main keyword in your title tag. As you can see, we have the main keyword in our title tag that we're trying to go ahead and rank for. You see that our H1 tag, which the H1 tag tells Google what a web page is all about. We have that as in, we have that as our main keyword in the H1 tag, right? You know what I mean? So you want to go ahead and make sure that you're doing these basic things. Because if I look at guys that, for example, I look at Pressure Washington Louisville KY, you know, there's going to be businesses that don't rank on the first page. For example, I'll use this guy, Platinum Pressure Washing. And the reason why I'm using him is because guess what? You know, he's actually on a related search right here, right? But if you look at it, no H1 tag with the main keyword. You know what I mean? The main keyword isn't even put in his actual title tag right here at all, right? And so it's going to be easy to go ahead and rank. You know what I mean? So make sure that you have those basic things down. Every single page should have one, right? So if I look at if I look at businesses that are going to be doing well for uh, I'll look up Roof Cleaning Louisville again, right? So I'll look up Roof Cleaning Louisville, and I'll go ahead and go right here. You know what I mean? So Roof Cleaning Louisville and Green Goose, man, these guys right here. But look, Roof Cleaning in Louisville, KY and Shepherdsville, KY, they have that main keyword right there. Then they also have Roof Cleaning Services in Louisville, Kentucky. Bam, that's in their title tag, guys. Hurricane, soft wash, you know, all of this. Soft wash roof cleaning services in Louisville, KY. These guys have that in there, right? And so you have to master these basics. You know what I mean? And a lot of businesses, you know, a lot of websites are not going ahead and doing so accordingly. You know what I mean? And another thing, too, that I want to go ahead and talk about is properly segmenting your website. So that's the third thing I want to get on. Have separate service pages, guys, for every single service that you do. I see too many guys where they just have like a services offered kind of thing. So I was looking at websites in, uh, where, where was it at? I was looking at websites that were in pressure washing, that were in Richmond, Virginia. That's, that's where it was. So pressure washing, I'll do power washing Richmond. So power washing Richmond VA, right? And I was looking at some businesses, you know, and I was like, all right, then how can some of these businesses do better in terms of their rankings, right? And so one thing that I saw that a lot of businesses weren't doing in this area is, is they didn't have, so for example, I look at a business like this, like Alpha Exterior Solutions, right? And if you look at a business like Alpha Exterior Solutions in Richmond, they have 84 five-star reviews, right? So this is a damn good business. Like, like they run it, so shout out to you, James. You know what I mean? Shout out to you, man. But I look at it, guys, right? They don't have, they have the absence of that H1 tag, right? If I look at their services, they don't have separate service pages. It just says read more. So for roof cleaning, for window cleaning, they just all have it on one page. And when you look at who's ranking for roof cleaning in Richmond, Virginia, right? When you look at that, you're going to go ahead and see that there's this evergreen dot, you know, cleaning company right here where they have that right there, right? And in the H1 tag, roof cleaning in Richmond VA. You know what I mean? And then also they have it in their title tag as well, guys. These are just basic things that people do not do nowadays. You know what I mean? When it comes to ranking websites, right? So make sure that you have your website properly structured where you have all of your different service pages in that sense, you know? So I tell a lot of guys, have different service pages when you're structuring it. Also, you know, a big thing too is to have location pages as well, because this helps your relevancy. Now, 
you know, I'm going to get to something else in a minute, but it helps with relevancy, guys. So like Middletown, Kentucky right here, like we're going to start building it up. We just started, you know, doing this. But if I go pressure washing Middletown, Kentucky, you know, the way that we structure a lot of our stuff, you know. So if I go right here, which dang, they're already ranking right there. <laughs> they're already ranking right there. You know what I mean? So actually their homepage, it says right here, but let me just do it right here. Let me do it. Um, pressure washing Middletown, Middletown KY, right? Middletown, Kentucky, you know? So let me do it this way and see where they rank at. So man, our homepage is really ranking for it right now. But still guys, at the same time, this is just because we built a page just for that because it creates relevancy for the business regardless of the fact, guys, right? So our homepage is actually ranking for it instead, which I'm not going to complain about, guys. I'm not going to complain about. You know what I mean? But then you see that our location page as well is like number 11, you know, for this. So it's actually our, our, you know, our location page is about to be on the first page too to take up more real estate, right? And so you want to go ahead and ensure that you guys have location pages as well. If your SEO company is not building you these location pages on a consistent basis, what are they doing in that sense, right? And also another thing too, guys, that I go ahead and I make sure that I look at is that this client, right? Originally, they were in um, Shelbyville, Kentucky. So this is where they're at, but they wanted to rank in Louisville. I told them straight up, guys, you know, put your address in Louisville in that sense, right? Get an address in Louisville and it'll help you rank a lot better, which they have a real credible business address in Louisville because a lot of guys are gonna try to rank in this main kind of city service area. And look at this, guys, right? I'm gonna go ahead and show you with just straight facts, right? Because a lot of guys, a lot of guys, for example, let me just see right now. So I'm in Tampa, Florida right now. I live in Tampa, Florida, right? And a lot of guys, and what I see all the time end up happening is they'll be somewhere like in, you know, let's just say, let's say that they're like in Lutz, Orlando, or let's just say Brandon, Florida, right? Let's say they're in Brandon, Florida or Valrico. They're going to try to rank in Tampa when you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't try to rank in Tampa because guess what? It's going to be infinitely more difficult for you to go ahead and rank your business in Tampa if you're located in Valrico or Brandon. You know what I mean? Just infinitely more difficult in that sense. And it's the same way that I always tell guys. Now, look, if I type in pressure washing, if I look at the businesses right here that rank for pressure washing in Louisville, Kentucky, I almost guarantee you the, the top five to top eight businesses have an address. I'd say majority of the businesses on the first page right here have an address in actual Louisville. And let's just test that theory out right now, guys. I'll go ahead and test that theory out right now. So pressure washing Louisville, Kentucky right here. So I look at it right now, guys. So Green Goose Cleaning. Let's see where these guys are located at. So I'll move this over here. So Green Goose Cleaning, right? And I'll just put Louisville. Oh, look at this, guys. Green Goose Exterior Cleaning. They are in Louisville, Kentucky right now. They have an address that is in Louisville, Kentucky. Bam. All right, then. I see. I see automatically right off the bat, right? Hurricane. Let's just look up Hurricane. So where's Hurricane at? So Hurricane in Louisville, right? Hurricane, pressure washing, roof cleaning, all of that. These guys have an address in Louisville, right here. It says Louisville right there, guys. Louisville. We've already established that Garrett's pressure washing, our client, you know, they have a, you know, address in Louisville right now, right? And so we can just go down the list, guys, like first response pressure washing. Shout out to Spencer and those guys out there, right? So if I go right here and I say first response, you know, pressure washing, and I go Kentucky right here, these guys are in Mount Washington, you know? So one of the outliers right there, one of the outliers right there, but they still rank in that kind of sense. But you know what I can tell you right now when it comes to Spencer and his company over at first, at first response, um, first responders pressure washing, right? You know what I can tell you about that guys? They have branded, they have branded stuff and they and they brand their website. They do a lot of different things, guys. And so as you can see, he has his team right there. You know? They have they have all of these different kind of photos in that sense, their trucks. You have his, 
you know you have him right there all of that guys it's still branding and it's a lot of content all of that stuff right he has his team on here all of that you know what i mean and so when you build a business that's just as good as this yeah you're going to go ahead and rank but a lot of and they have 235 five star reviews guys and so that's why it'll be easier for them to go ahead and rank for that kind of keyword as well so that's one of the outliers right now but this KY pressure washing, which is going to be, who is that over at KY pressure washing going to be? So kypressurewashing.com. That's going to be Hydro Solutions Power Wash and Soft Washing, right? So Hydro Solutions, Hydro Solutions Power and Soft Washing, right? These guys, once again, they're in Louisville. So majority of the time, guys, when you are trying to rank for these kind of keywords in that sense, it's gonna be your it's like you're gonna have a business address in that location because Google's gonna know where you're at, right? And so that's another ranking factor, guys, that I will go ahead and say. And so yeah, guys, these are the three ranking factors. This is what took us from like literally from majority of the keywords that we have for the client, like from Middletown, for pressure washing in Middletown, Kentucky, they never were ranking for that at all, guys. And look, they just shot up their rankings. Bam. You know what I mean? They shot up the rankings and they never ranked for it in the last two years. And so these are things that you want to go ahead and do, right? So just to overview the entire video again, make sure that you have a well fleshed out branded website so that you have good user engagement signals. Number two, make sure that you have separate service pages and that you're really like keying in on all of that because that's going to allow you to go ahead and rank. Number three, make sure that you have these location pages because these location pages are going to make it easier and you know for you to rank. And also, it's going to give your website more relevancy and it's going to give your Google business profile more relevancy and authority as well. And then number four, guys, is going to make sure that you are properly targeting the right keywords based off of where your business is located at, right? Make sure that you're doing that. You know what I mean? But if you guys need help with your SEO, if you guys need help with a lot of this stuff, then uh, go ahead in the description of this video. Um, you can get a free strategy session with us, guys, right? So go here and get a free strategy session with us, and I will get on a call and you know just give you advice, guys, about what you can go ahead and do. So fill out the contact form right here if you guys would, um, you know, want us to go ahead and assess your business and see what you guys. Um, you know, are capable of in your market, your area. And so, you know, and if even if we would be a good fit. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Like I said, if you have any questions, concerns, thoughts, or comments, leave them in the comments below. And if you want a free strategy session, check the description. But I'll talk to you guys later. See you in the next video.